We're gonna explain what mode is and why you should consider building on it. You'll learn why mode is different from other chains out there and see if it's the right fit for you. We have Federico here, the head of DevRel from mode, who is going to explain what mode is. Then at the end of this video, I'll show you how to actually deploy your very own smart contracts to the mode network. I think the difference of mode compared to other layer twos is that we have a clear product and vision in mind, right? We're pushing to be the DeFi hub of optimism. Mode is the DeFi layer two, part of the super chain of, of the optimism ecosystem. We're built with the OP stack and EVM compatible. If our mission and vision and why it was created, and number one is to help developers scale their applications and learn about growth and actually get a ton of users. Second one is to have a place where innovation in DeFi can happen, and that is within the Optimism ecosystem. We're using the OP stack uh, to run our infrastructure, so we're EVM compatible, which means uh, any smart contracts that you deploy on Ethereum or other EVM compatible uh, chains are super easy to bring to mode and easy to deploy. I think the difference of mode compared to other layer twos is that we have a clear product and vision in mind. Right? We're pushing to be the DeFi hub of optimism. Most people that have worked with us can talk uh, about our speed and velocity. We welcome any devs that want to try it out. The ideal developer type for mode is the ones that are crazy enough to build new DeFi uh, primitives. Also, we're focusing game file as well. So anything financial related, if you like developing games, but also thinking about new financial ecosystems, we are your chain for that. Some of the recent ones that we had, I had a lot of fun with was Astadia, which is a lending protocol, but like one-to-one -one, uh, Oracle-less, very smart solution. You can go to our ecosystem page and see all the, all the applications that we have. I think we have more than 110 or something like that. The number one thing I would tell you to do is go to the mode dashboard app, mode.network is the official website, and start playing around with the protocols that, that are in the dashboard. Now that we learned a little bit about the mode network, I'm going to show you how you can start building on the mode chain and how you can deploy your very first smart contract to it. We'll first cover how to get some testnet funds on the mode network. Then we'll use ThirdWeb's pre-built smart contracts and dashboard to deploy your very own ERC-20 smart contract to the chain. So first, let's get things started and let's get some testnet funds to deploy our smart contract. All right, we're on modes documentations here and we're in the portion of the documentation where we're going to look at their testnet faucets. They have a list of different faucets that we can get some testnet funds from. We're going to be using this top one here, the super chain faucet. So you can go ahead, click on that link and you'll be brought to the super chain faucet page right over here. Now you're going to have to sign in so you can hit sign in, put in your email. Once you're signed in, you're going to have to enter the wallet address that you want to send your testnet funds to. So just paste in that wallet address. And then down here in the networks, you're going to see a bunch of different networks, all part of the super chain here, including ETH Sepolia. But this one, we're going to go and click the mode Sepolia here because we need some mode Sepolia testnet funds. And then down here, you can see you can claim 0.05 ETH on mode Sepolia. So we're going to click that and we're going to claim our testnet funds here. And we'll wait until we get this network confirmation and we should get the funds transferred to us. There you go. We have claimed 0.05 ETH on mode Sepolia. You can view the transaction here, but we're just going to close this out. And that again is how you can use the super chain faucet to get some testnet funds on modes polia. Now we're going to head back to modes documentation here. And the other thing we're going to go over is bridging testnet funds. So if you don't have the ability to use the faucet to get Sepolia ETH on mode, you can bridge over Sepolia ETH from ETH Sepolia to mode Sepolia testnet. So you can read this here. We're going to go to the mode testnet bridge. That's going to bring you to mode site here. Now you can see where I am based because I am based in the US. It is restricted by my region here. So I won't be able to use this, but you can see if you're outside of these territories here, you can use the mode bridge. Now, if you don't have access to the mode bridge, you can use the super chain bridge in order to do this. So you can come over to the super chain bridges site here. We'll link everything down in the description below so you can check out those links if you need to navigate to any one of these sites and we're going to go to the super bridge here once in the super bridge you're going to connect your wallet so you can select the connect button in the top right here i'm going to connect my metamask wallet and once we're connected i'm going to come down to the settings here in the bottom right click on that and i'm going to make sure i enable test nets 
enabling test nets, you're gonna see a bunch of other chains come up that are the test nets. You can see they're labeled down here at the bottom. And we're gonna select the mode Sepolia test net here. And you can see from here, it's gonna pull up a bridge where we can bridge over ETH Sepolia from Sepolia here to the mode Sepolia test net. So we're gonna connect our wallet one more time. I'm gonna select MetaMask. We're gonna switch networks to Sepolia here. And here we can, again, put in the amount. So I'm just gonna put 0 0.05 ETH Sepolia here. I have a balance of ETH Sepolia. If you don't have ETH Sepolia, you can check out the documentations or you can check out the other faucets that give out ETH Sepolia and claim your ETH Sepolia so you can bridge it on over. So I'm just going to do 0 0.05 again. You can see here all the information of what we're going to be bridging. It is going to take some time to bridge as well. We're going to hit deposit. You'll have to check off these here saying that you understand it'll take around three minutes to see your funds on mode Sepolia, that you understand that once you initiate this transaction, you can't speed up or cancel it. And you understand that you have to cover all the network fees and everything. So we're going to initiate the deposit here. We're going to get a transaction here. You can see I'm sending 0 0.05 Sepolia ETH. We're going to confirm that. And down here in the activity tab, if we click this, you can see it is now bridging over and depositing the ETH Sepolia to the mode Sepolia testnet. So I'm gonna pause here, we'll come back. This is again gonna take a few minutes and then we'll continue. All right, we're back, our bridge has completed. So you can hit this drop down here. You can see it's deposited, it's confirmed on the L2. And we bridged over again 0 0.05 ETH from the ETH Sepolia testnet to the mode Sepolia testnet. So now you should have some funds available in your wallet for mode Sepolia, and we should be able to start building, deploying contracts and everything on the mode Sepolia testnet. Next, we're gonna to come to ThirdWeb's chain list page here. This is gonna be a list of all the EVM compatible chains that we support. And it's gonna be a really useful tool if you need some information on the chain that you're looking to build on. So we're gonna come over to this search here and we're gonna type in mode. You can see we have mode mainnet and we have mode testnet here. We're gonna be deploying on the testnet. So we're gonna select that. And right up here, you can have all the chain information available to you, like the chain ID, the link to the faucet that we just went to, links to explorers to see what's going on on the chain. We also have a button up here to add to wallet. If you click on that, it is going to, one, prompt you to approve and add the mode testnet network to your wallet if you don't have it already added. If you do have it added, it's gonna prompt you to switch network. So we'll switch on over to the mode testnet here. And if we scroll down a bit, you're going to see some contracts that you can deploy on mode. We have a bunch of pre-built contracts here at ThirdWeb. What we're going to do is deploy a token contract, which is an ERC-20 standard contract. So I'm going to select that. You're going to be brought to the contract page here. You can read a little bit more about the token. You can scroll down, view all the functions and everything you have available on the smart contract. You can view the events emitted by the smart contract. You can look at the code tab here and choose your language that you're building an app for, and you'll get all the code snippets and everything for building with this contract using ThirdWeb's SDK. And then in the sources tab here, you'll have all the source files and everything for the token contract. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top here and I'm gonna click deploy now. Now we need to fill out the contract parameters here and the contract metadata. So I'm just going to name this contract token and give it a symbol of token. You can add an image, give it a description, fill out the metadata how you choose. Then at the very bottom here under the network and chains, you're going to see a drop down here. Now it's set to mode testnet because we already switched over. But if you don't have mode testnet here, you can click that drop down and you can search any network by name, chain ID, you can search mainnets, testnets. Again, we support any EVM compatible chain. So just click in here, search for it and select. But I already have mode testnet selected. So the final thing I need to do is hit deploy now. I'm going to be prompted up a transaction here in my wallet. This is going to be the gas I need to pay in order to deploy the smart contract. So I'm going to hit confirm. Deploying contract. We're going to get one more pop up here in our wallet. It is going to be a signature request for our wallet. And this is just to add the contract to our third web dashboard here. So I'm going to scroll down and hit sign. And there you go. We have successfully deployed our contract. It'll bring you over to the contract dashboard. You can see here we have our token contract. It's deployed on the mode testnet. We also have our smart contract address right over here that we can just click and copy. You have a checklist to see what other things you need to do in order to finish this contract. So we just have to mint tokens. 
You can look at all the different navigations here. We'll also drop links to other video tutorials in the description below. So you can learn more about our contract dashboard and how to navigate and use the tools that are available to you. And in this tokens tab, you have the ability to mint, transfer, airdrop, and burn the ERC-20 tokens from this smart contract. So there you have it. You learned how to get some testnet funds on mode. You learned how to deploy your very own smart contract as well using ThirdWeb's tools. And you learned how to use the chainless page to get all the information information that you need to start building on the chain of your choice. So again, we'll link down in the description below links to other videos and tutorials showing you how to deploy different contracts and build different Web3 applications using ThirdWeb's SDK.